Welcome back everybody, Dan Williams with Survive Outdoors and as promised we are going to address the hobo spider. Uh, last video we talked about spider bites. We're going to jump right into this little guy, uh, actually a big guy. He's about two inches in diameter with the legs measured. Um, his Latin name is Aratagena agrestis and that is uh, agrestis is Latin for rule or country not aggressive but right there you see with that name how people have assumed that this is an aggressive spider without even studying it or looking at it um, this spider geographically uh, is about is in washington state oregon idaho there's been no recorded uh, specimens east of colorado uh, it originated originally from western europe uh, there was a guy probably in the early to mid 80s, a Darwin Vest, V-E-S-T, did some very, very poor studies, no control group. He was injecting venom into the skin of rabbits. Then he was drawing these conclusions that this was causing these alterations on the rabbit's skin and said it's definitely just like the brown recluse. Uh, this is gonna cause some necrosis of the skin and you're gonna have some tissue death. Um, in 1990-91, there were uh, three or four case studies in Washington State from uh, the MMWR, uh, and that is a journal that focuses specifically on uh, morbidity and mortality of patients. Uh, and even on those uh, articles, those were also anecdotal. It wasn't a study, it was just a basically a case presentation on three or four individuals that got bit by something and they're not really sure. There was no specimen that was recovered. So the CDC had in about 2014, and that's a rough estimate, I couldn't find the exact year, they delisted this spider as a venomous spider in the United States. They had three spiders that were venomous, the brown recluse, the black widow, and the hobo spider. And then about 2014, around there they delisted it and part of the reason they delisted it was 2011 a dr wainwright uh, she studied it extensively and studied the venom and there was no sub substantive dermal necrosis noted on with any of this venom being used and so the cdc basically came back and said you know what we're not going to list this as a venomous spider and took it off. Right now by the CDC, there are only two venomous spiders that are dangerous to humans, the black widow and the brown recluse. It should be noted that as I talked on spider bites, any irritation break to the skin can cause what looks like a spider bite, um, a bee sting, you scratching a chigger bite and you uh, putting staff or strap into that wound from your fingernails can cause an abscess. So any breakage of the skin in a few days, given the right circumstances, is gonna look like uh, a spider bite. And these get misdiagnosed all the time. I recently found a doc, who I will not diss a fellow YouTuber, but at Survive Outdoors, we're into integrity and the truth. And this doc, somewhere in Kentucky or Texas, is basically showing all these abscesses that he's incising and draining, and he's calling about 95, and that is an underestimate, that these are spider bites, brown recluse spider bites. With, you, you can't, you, you can't, you can't even culture that and tell you if that's a brown recluse. So, listen guys, I'm telling you, check your sources. You know, here at Survivor, we're gonna give you the best information. If we can't find it, write a question down below, and I'm gonna to try to find it for you. But be really careful in terms of YouTube videos, anything on the internet, Facebook. And I know you guys know that. I know I got a smart audience. Just be aware of that. Uh, if you found any of this information really informative, hey, give me a thumbs up. Smash that uh, subscribe button, please. And you know what? Till next time, stay away from the spiders. They're not going to hurt you. Be safe. Keep your eyes on the horizon. Your face to the wind. Till next time. Take care.